Let's talk about Ole Miss and Kentucky. And Ole Miss right now, 4-0 straight up, 4-0 against the spread. That means they've been an undervalued commodity so far this year. I mean, Ole Miss overvalued, 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 overvalued. overvalued. Look at them. They're, they're undervalued so far. They're 4-0 against the spread. Kentucky's only 2-2. Two two. We still remember when they got bombed at home against South Carolina. But, of course, we also remember when they almost beat Georgia. The defense showed us that they're truly capable of stepping up. And this is Mark Stoops' role. Kentucky has an away dog the last three years. Well, let's see. They covered at Georgia. They won at Louisville twice. They won at Florida. They covered at Ole Miss last time. They won at Missouri. They lost by three at plus two slash two and a half against South Carolina. Okay. <laughs> they did get blown out twice, though, and they're both worth noting. Georgia hung 51 on them last year. Tennessee won 44 to 6 in 2022. So we've seen the teams with the most athleticism sometimes can give Kentucky a problem. This year, certainly Kentucky's a battle-tested team, but they haven't left home yet. And that's a big concern for me as I talk about this game. But before I talk about the Ole Miss piece of the equation, I do want to let you guys know what's going on. The next four months <laughs> are insane. They're the most action-packed four months of the year. No question. NBA, NFL, college football, NBA, NHL, college hoops, on and on down the line. You can get all four months. Get Buy a 90-day all-access pass. You get 30 days for free. That's a $2.99 value. Just about 7 bucks a day. It's an ideal time. You don't have to pick me. Capper of your choice. Get on board for an extended service package. See what we can do for you. Check it out right now at wagertalk.com. It really is an outstanding deal if you want to take this seriously. So these two teams met in 2022. It was 20 to 19 here in Oxford. Neither team got 400 yards of offense. They met in 2020. That was a 42-41 overtime affair in Lexington. Again, where Ole Miss not exactly winning the game by margin. The question is, how good is this Rebels defense, which has been phenomenal so far, but they haven't played anyone? Well, guess what? I'm not convinced Kentucky's anyone either. Brock Vandegriff against Georgia, 14-27, 110 yards, no picks. Sack three times, long of 18. It's not a downfield passing game. That's a problem in this one, in my mind. And I'm not convinced that Kentucky's going to be any better offensively here than they were against the Bulldogs a couple of weeks ago. So you ask me how to play this one? Under might be the bet. This total is low for good reason. That's the way I'm looking with an Ole Miss defense not yet getting respect, a Kentucky defense that might be good enough, and a Kentucky offense that I'm confident isn't quite good enough to trade points with other elite foes. Look at the under Kentucky and Ole Miss on Saturday. Right now, that total sitting in the 53, 53 and a half range. It's low for a reason. There's your big game breakdown.